Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up a forwarder in the Novell DNS. And this is in preparation for setting up a cross-force trust from DSFW to AD. And let's, let's start by looking. reason why we need it, of course, is for resolution, name resolution. So if you do NS, look up for our domain. It was ad.novell.com was created does not find it can't cannot resolve so let's set up a forwarder and we for, first let's start off with setting up a so we have our zones right here we're going to set up a zone for the ad domain bring this over here say okay and the name of this zone will be ad.novell.com and we'll keep it in the same location as our other zone since we are using the, the Novell DNS that's installed with on the DSFW server so all we have to do is click forward and then we say which what do we want to be authoritative the DNS server and we can define additional properties that'll just bring us right to that zone so we say create it's been created and we can see our forwarding list so we've got the our, we know which server we're gonna hit when we hit this server he is going to forward to 192.168.100.14 that's the IP address of the AD server that's running DNS so this one so we'll be able to resolve after doing that so that's the first part and then we just click somewhere say yes always like to refresh too just to make sure it writes out the next part is also setting up a reverse lookup so this is just the, the name now we're gonna do so we can re resolve via IP address and since it's already in the same network we're just gonna use this zone right here so we're gonna say new resource record and it's going to be a pointer record and the name is going to be 14 uh, that's if we look here let's just pull this over here so we can see 14 3 4 it's the last um, digit or not last digit last in the last octet of the IP address so our e directory service 3 DSW servers 4, the AD servers.14. So the name of that is 2008R2 AD.novell.com. We create, and there it is. That's all there is to it. Now, if I do a NS lookup, most likely it's not going to resolve yet what I need to do is restart either wait 10 more minutes or so or uh, just restart Oop. need the command in there okay now let's see if we can resolve there we go so we see that we're hitting our server, DSFW server. It's non-authoritative, and it brings back the AD server. It's all set up, ready to go. On the AD side, let's just take a look there. Here's our AD server. If you put the DNS server, uh, the list the DNS server as the DSFW server or the server that's hosting the D D DSFW domain before you install AD, it will automatically make it a forwarder. So that's kind of nice. It saves you a little bit of time. We'll just do NS lookup and as dsfw.novell.com. As you can see, it can already resolve because of that. Let's pull up the DNS utility. It's in administrative tools, DNS, just to show you where this is at. So if we go to our server, we right click and we go to the properties we have we can see uh, it's listening and here's our forwarders so it 
already configured this for us. If we wanted to, if it wasn't there, if you or if you, it's a different server, just click Edit, put in the IP address, put in the name, and it's set up. So we are not using the reverse lookup. AD does not automatically reconfigure a reverse lookup. DSFW does, and since we've already got that set up, we're going to use the DSFW uh, zone for that. And what that reverse lookup lets us do is just basically do a NS lookup for if we just put in that IP address, say. There we go. Tells us who this who it resolves who this uh, the the DNS name for this uh, IP address. So there you go. That's it. Not very hard. Pretty easy to do. And the key is, once you do it, make sure you save, refresh, and if you're impatient, restart named CD. All right. Thanks for watching.